was in the summer, I was really excited for youth camp, and the Saturday before I went, I heard that a student from my school had taken his own life. For me and my whole school, that was really impacting, because I go to a really small school, and so it just stuck with me. I'm like, okay, God, I want to do something with my school. I don't know, though. During Thursday night, God was like, hey, I want you to lead a revival and I want you to do something like this. I want you to have a group of people who are willing to stand by you. I was working with the Youth Alive Breakfast Club in the mornings and they're talking about how a whole bunch of kids have been doing things at their school and what you can do to be a leader in your school and how to reach kids in your school. And for a while, I couldn't see any opportunities to do anything and then I did see you at the poll. I didn't know how I was going to happen. Like, I invited more people this year, I like, talked to them personally, and I'm like, hey, I'm going to do this. Right after NYC camp, I saw Terrence Talley, and he works with Youth of the Live, and he goes to schools all across the country. One of our best school communicators and school assembly speakers. Now, here's the thing that I like about our school assembly programs. You cannot keep the Holy Spirit out of a school just because we can't mention Jesus' name. So I'm like, okay, cool, I want him to come to my school. And then I look at my desk and there's a business card for Youth Alive that I'd gotten at camp. This has been here this whole time and it like, hasn't gotten lost and I haven't thrown it away. It's a small part of the story, but it's definitely like, whoa. It doesn't matter what size your school is. We'll come and help you no matter what that size is. These are like teenagers, and so if they don't want to listen, they're not going to. When you step up and say, I'm a believer, I'm a follower of Christ, and I'm going to live for Him, that's a huge encouragement. And so for me to look around and look and see that they're listening and paying attention and soaking in what He was saying was really huge. It takes the same amount of work, the same kind of coordination, and all those pieces came together for Allie when she just stepped out in faith and made some phone calls, did some emails, and just simply responded by saying, okay, I can do that. There's been a lot more people opening up and talking to me and where I'm just like the person that people know I can come and talk to and speak to and be open with. We're bringing the Holy Spirit with us when we walk in because we're believers. There's a peace and a comfort that comes in that school because the Holy Spirit is working in us and through us and living in us. And I know I was close to even leaving my school because it just in that way made me feel really alone. A bunch of people didn't agree with my beliefs, but don't listen to the lies you're telling yourself or other people are telling you or the devil is telling you. They're lies. Don't forget who you are in Jesus. You're loved, you're valued. You have to remember that if God is for you, who can be against you? Throughout this whole process, God keeps giving me things like, here, here's proof that I'm here, that I'm working in you and I'm helping you out. Don't forget that. There will definitely be low points where you're like, okay, God, this isn't working. I don't understand like what you're doing and it's gonna be okay. Put yourself out there and don't be afraid if people are gonna judge you, cause they will, but you have to remember, he tells you who you are, that you're valued and that you're worth everything to him. And you gotta step forth in knowing that and then go on and do what God is telling you.